we are representatives of about um, nine veterans body and um, it's unfortunate that we have seen online that um, a lot of agitations is on for veterans to go on a protest and um, we have monitored events unfolding events in nigeria for about three months ago we planned to have a peaceful protest and it was supposed to be nationwide but um, incidentally the honorable minister of defense stepped in and called up a panel of retired generals from all the veteran body representative under the CCV, which is the Coalition of Consigned Veterans. And that body has submitted its report to the Honorable Minister of Defense. And we have information that all the concerns raised were captured in the report, and it has been forwarded to the appropriate body. Now, when we heard about this protest, we did our intelligence. As retired military officers, one of the reasons why we staked our lives for this country, our youth, was because we wanted peace and stability. It is unfortunate that some veterans does not see the reason why we have to form pressure groups that are legitimate, that are registered with the Ministry of Defense, the Chief of Defense Staff is aware of these bodies. The Military Pension Board is aware of these bodies. And we hold meetings regularly. We have discourse on concerns. And veterans that have issues are able to communicate such issues through these bodies under the CCV to the Military Pension Board. And they get addressed. We have sent out olive branches to all of the aggrieved veterans nationwide, even in diaspora, and those that felt that it is legitimate to have organized bodies to meet with government have joined up. So we are concerned that certain number of persons, especially on Facebook and social media, have been going around sharing the news of a protest on the 7th. Let me assure you, that we disassociate ourselves from all kinds of protests, especially for this year. We will not be part of it, and we play, employ the government to take decisive steps. One thing our intelligence gave to us was that after the NSAS protest was truncated and abused by violence and anarchy, it became clear to us that any other protest now you will see young men coming out to claim that they are soldiers' children, burning and killing innocent Nigerians, burning and looting innocent Nigerians' businesses, because that is what the body language of the masses have brought forward. So we feel it is irresponsible to come out with a protest at this time when the government has actually put its hand to the plow to look at all the concerns and address them legitimately. It has to do with protests right now for the fact that uh, the time is not ripe. Like he said, there's a committee. That committee has already worked, submitted its reports, and that report is being looked, uh, looked upon. There's going to be uh, all the recommendations have been accepted by the Honorable Minister, making uh, also presentation to the President and Commander-in-Chief, who is also a veteran like us, who is very, very concerned about our plight and is very willing to also see to it that whatever is our request, whatever is our demand, will be reached. So at this juncture, there is just no point for anybody to begin to go to the street to say he wants to protest. What are you protesting for? First and foremost, there is an organization, or there are organizations that are representing you. Those organizations uh, speak and think and act on your behalf. Ambassador Roy here just mentioned we were supposed to go on strike, a nationwide protest, but for the fact that we have been listening to, we don't need to do that. That is number one. Number two, just recently, uh, having heard the complaints we forwarded to the Chairman Military Pension Board, to the Minister of Defense and the Office of the Chief of Defense Staff, he was directed to call and find out and also brief these bodies further on the activities of the board so far and how far the board have gone 
and in when we are even expecting to be carried along in terms of all activities, payments, and what have you. Like we know, the, the, there are two major issues of concern here. There is issue of debarment. A committee has worked on it. The issue of minimum wage is part of the job of that committee. And just recently, we were informed that the chairman reached out to the chief of defense staff, and the chief of defense staff has given the go ahead that uh, he should meet up with uh, the chairman uh, wages and income uh, commission. So I, we are saying that hold on until when your organized bodies say this is the time to do it. But clearly intelligence indicates that those that are out there trying to go on protest does not belong to any of the recognized bodies so far accepted, duly registered with the Ministry of Defense, with the Office of the Chief of Defense Staff, with the uh, Office of the Director of Veterans Affairs, and uh, the Military Pension Board. So if everybody goes out in the name of protest, that does not come from these bodies. I can assure you that we do not know that person, and that person will be acting for his own or her, his or her own self.